Hey folks, uh, this uh, Algebra 2 lesson is, um, is actually a geometry review lesson, which is actually probably uh, your Algebra 1 teacher introduced this to you. But I know it's in Chapter 1 of my geometry book, uh, Distance and Midpoint Formula. It goes like this. The distance formula, if it goes, be in fact, I just copied this from my geometry lesson plans here of Chapter, I think it's Section 1, 3. The distance between uh, x1, y1 and x2, y2 is a square root of, you subtract the x's, square that, and you add that to the difference of the y's squared, okay? That's something you're going to have to memorize if you haven't already, you guys, so put that down in your memorization right there. All right, so let's find the distance between these two points right here, okay? We're going to go ahead and use the distance formula, so uh, we do um, uh, x sub 2 minus x sub 1, that's what this says right here, 4 minus a minus 3 squared plus uh, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 and then square that okay this becomes 4 plus 3 this becomes negative 1 minus 5 which this is 7 this is negative 6 and when I square those you guys uh, I get uh, square root of 85 and and 85 is 5 times 17 so nothing comes out of that so that's it square root of 85 okay all right so classify a triangle ABC as scalene isosceles or equilateral by using the distance formula so I'm going to use the distance formula between A and B. So here we go. Here's distance formula between A and B. I did x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. And then I square root all of that right there. So I get the square root of 18, which is um, uh, 2 times 3 times 3. So it's 3 root 2. Okay. Now I'll do that with... Um, uh, side BC. So I did the same thing. I did um, uh, x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared and then y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. So this is negative 5 squared is 25. This is uh, negative 2 squared is 4. 25 plus 4 is the square root of 29. Okay, and then I'll do the distance formula with these guys right here. Okay, I get square root of 29. So since uh, these two sides are equal right here, this is called an isosceles triangle. Do you remember that from, from geometry? All right. Uh, so the midpoint formula, you guys, same, same thing. It's going to, uh, between the two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2. I didn't write that down, but your midpoint formula is just the average of your x's and the average of your y's. This one's easier to memorize, but that's another one you want to memorize, you guys. Okay, so uh, the endpoints of rs are 1, negative 3, and 4, comma 2. Okay, find the coordinates of the midpoint. So I'm just going to add 1 plus 4, which is 5, 5 over 2. And negative 3 plus 2 is uh, negative 1 over 2. Okay, so there we go. And I get uh, 5 halves and negative 1 half. Okay, nice and easy, right? All right, so write an equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line segment that joins uh, A is negative 3, 4, and B is 5, 6. Okay, so the perpendicular bisector, I first got to find the midpoint because it's going to go through the midpoint of this thing. So let's go ahead and find the midpoint, okay? So the midpoint um, of AB is 1, 5. Let's get a picture of this, by the way. Okay, so here's a picture. Here's negative 3, 4. That's, that's A, negative 3, 4. You don't have to have a picture on this. And then B is over here at 5, 6. Okay, <clears throat> so here's that midpoint right here. It looks, I think that's going to be the answer right there. I should have taken that out. Darn it. Oh, well. That's no biggie. So uh, step two, we got to find um, uh, the slope of this blue line. And remember, the perpendicular slope is an opposite reciprocal. So let's use slope formula. Do you remember slope formula, you guys? Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 over X sub 2 minus X sub 1. Okay, so, um, so I did uh, uh, this Y 6 minus this Y 4 over this uh, X minus this X. So I get 6 minus 4 over 5 minus a minus 3 is is uh, 2 over 8, which is 1 fourth. Okay, so a perpendicular slope of 1 fourth is going to be negative 4. Okay, so that's where this negative 4 comes in right there. And then um, you can do y equals mx plus b. I'm choosing to do point slope form because you guys don't see it that much, and it's really easy, you guys. Point slope form is y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1, and then just substitute in this for x1 and this for y1 right here. So this, this 5 goes here, this 1 goes here, and then when you clean it up, you get this is my answer right there. So, so the line uh, that, that's perpendicular bisector of uh, line segment AB is y equals uh, negative 4x plus 9. Okay? You can do that, you guys. Don't get so 
uh, scared about that one. You can do that. All right. So uh, if you're in my class, I'd assign this as your homework assignment. I won't even look at this extra credit assignment unless you guys do all of these first. So it'll be worth two homework assignments if you get your whole homework assignment completed and you get this correct. Okay, take care.